안녕하세요, 여러분. EBS 생활영어의 선현우입니다. 반갑습니다. 안녕하세요, 여러분. And welcome back to another episode of EBS 생활영어. I'm Megan Bowen. 안녕하세요, 안녕하세요. 안녕하십니까. 네, 이번 주에는 우리가 친구 관계 또는 우정에 대해서 이야기하고 있습니다. That's right. We're talking about friendship or making friends. Exactly. 자, 그리고 오늘의 핵심 내용은 바로 이건데요. Okay. We're going to be talking about this. And it is... Making new friends is a great thing. 네, 새로운 친구를 사귀는 것은 is a great thing. Hmm. 좋은 일입니다. 아주 좋은 일입니다. 라는 내용이고요. 이와 관련해서 이야기를 해주실 분은 블루인스 씨입니다. 네, 그럼 블루인스 씨의 전체 이야기를 듣기 전에 요약된 내용부터 들어볼까요? Sounds great. 블루인스 씨, 나와주세요. 나와주세요. I think friendship is something that you can cultivate and I really encourage everybody to do this. I think friendship is something that you can cultivate and I really encourage everybody to do this. I think friendship is something that you can cultivate and I really encourage everybody to do this. 네, 블린스 씨가 모두가 이렇게 했으면 좋겠다라고 하는 내용을 말해 줬는데요. 문장을 다시 한번 보겠습니다. So Bluen said I think friendship is something that you can cultivate, and I really encourage everybody to do this. 중간에 cultivate라고 하는 비교적 어려운 단어가 나왔어요. Mm-hmm. Cultivate 하면은 예를 들어서 농사를 지을 때 yeah. You're cultivating, 네. you know, plants, 네. right? You're growing them. 그렇죠. 경작하는 것을 가리키기도 mm-hmm. 하는데 어, 또 다른 뜻으로 다른 문맥에서는 mm-hmm. 구축하는 것, 만드는 것을 말합니다. Yes. 그래서 I think friendship is something that you can cultivate, mm-hmm. something that you can Grow. You can grow, 네. right? 키울 수 있는 거, 만들어낼 mm-hmm. 수 있는 거, 구축할 수 있는 무언가라고 mm-hmm. 생각하고요. And I really encourage everybody to do this. Mm-hmm. 모두가 이렇게 해볼 것을 추천합니다. 아직 이야기를 본격적으로 듣지는 않았지만 right. 무슨 말이냐면 그냥 우연히 만들게 되는 친구들이 아니고 mm-hmm. cultivate, 의식적으로 yeah, 친구를 사귀라는 거죠. Yeah, you can get 거죠. out and make friends. Like mm. you can make that happen, right? Yeah. Don't just wait around. 네. Yeah. Cultivate라는 <웃음> 단어 자체가 내가 주체가 되어서 하는 right. 거니까요. You got to put in the work. Think about a farmer. Mm-hmm. You know, cultivating 네. crops is mm-hmm. difficult. 맞아요. <웃음> Great. Let's take a look at a speaking summary once again. I think friendship is something that you can cultivate, and I really encourage everybody to do this. I think friendship is something that you can cultivate, and I really encourage everybody to do this. I think friendship is something that you can cultivate, and I really encourage everybody to do this. Let's jump right into English on the go. It's time for English on the Go. So we're going to look at Fluence's full clip where she talks to us about making friends. And we also hear more about her growing up in Austria and the friend group that she had there. Let's find out more. Are you ready? Go! I grew up in Vienna, Austria, and I lived there until I was around 18 years old. And I had an automatic friendship group because I met these friends when I was very little, probably at elementary school, and we continued to go to school together and see each other every day. And this just automatically developed into a friendship. However, when I moved away from home to pursue further studies and to start working in different countries, I realized that friendship was no longer going to be given to me automatically. It was something that I had to actively pursue. And this was something I very much struggled with at first because it was difficult to approach a random person and introduce myself and strike a conversation and hope that a friendship would blossom out of it. However, if anything, now I really enjoy doing that and I encourage every Everybody to be open to the idea of meeting new people every day and not just to stick with your old friendship group but to continue broadening that group and to be open to the idea of meeting people with different backgrounds, different upbringings because there is so much you can learn from creating such friendships. 네, 오늘의 핵심 어휘 보고 공부 이어가겠습니다. 먼저 어떤 것을 추구하다라는 뜻의 
pursue, pursue. 그 다음 꽃을 피우다, blossom, blossom. 발음 연습해 보겠습니다. Repeat after me. Let's start with pursue, pursue, pursue. Next we have blossom, blossom, blossom. Perfect. Let's take a look at some more words. 그 다음으로 broad라고 하면은 넓은이란 뜻인데 뒤에 en 붙여서 넓게 만들다, 즉 broaden 해서 넓히다란 뜻의 단어가 쓰였고요. 그리고 마지막 upbringing. 누군가를 아이를 bring up 하면은 키우다란 뜻이고 양육하다란 뜻인데 이걸 뒤집어서 명사로 바꿔서 upbringing 하면 양육, 훈육 또는 자라는 과정, 자라온 과정을 가리킬 수 있습니다. 발음 연습 해보겠습니다. Next we have broaden, 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 and lastly upbringing, upbringing, upbringing. Perfect. How about we take a look at Blunza's clip once again, but with English subtitles. I grew up in Vienna, Austria, and I lived there until I was around 18 years old. And I had an automatic friendship group because I met these friends when I was very little, probably at elementary school, and we continued to go to school together and see each other every day. And this just automatically developed into a friendship. However, when I moved away from home to pursue further studies and to start working in different countries, I realized that friendship was no longer going to be given to me automatically. It was something that I had to actively pursue. And this was something I very much struggled with at first because it was difficult to approach a random person and introduce myself and strike a conversation and hope that a friendship would blossom out of it. However, if anything, now I really enjoy doing that and I encourage everybody to be open to the idea of meeting new people every day and not just to stick with your old friendship group but to continue broadening that group and to be open to the idea of meeting people with different backgrounds, different upbringings because there is so much you can learn from creating such friendships.